It's become our gift to the community. It's kind of like when, when I was a kid and I lived in Chicago and we would go see the Marshall Fields holiday windows. But that was once a year, but here it's four times a year, so it's become a big neighborhood event. We didn't want a merchandise window. We didn't want a store window. We have that inside the store. We have a lot of beautiful things to inspire you to make beautiful clothing. Our slogan is education, inspiration, innovation. We wanted pure inspiration. One thing early on that we learned is about three feet above the edge of the window, we were noticing, why is it so dirty every morning? And then we realized that's children height handprints, where the kids come to the window and just go, ah, and we had all these tiny little handprints all along the, the window. For our current window, that really came from Juliet, our designer. She thought art would be an amazingly beautiful way to reinterpret great masters with yarn instead of paint. So we loved the idea of turning the window into a gallery. Then we came to the idea of three paintings instead of one, which would allow us to explore several different painting styles. Two of them rendered as is, and then one with a little twist when we got the Picasso that we ended up using. What Juliet loved about it was the position of the hands. And she said, you know, the hands are just perfect to position knitting needles into them. And she can be actually knitting in the painting. And I said, oh, I love that idea, but what if she was knitting out of the painting? So meaning the scarf was actually breaking the frame and coming out of the painting. And Juliet said, oh, I was gonna say the same thing. So we had one of those those moments that you love when you work with a, an artist where you guys kind of get on the same page. Mm -hmm. 